Hi all, welcome back to the screencast. In this video we are going to understand indentation in Python without going into much detail about scoping. So let's get started. We have to create a file inside ch2 and the name should be indent.py. I'll delete everything which I have already written and let's start from scratch. Now I'll first define two variables a equal to 123 a equal to 124 this will create two variables uh, just follow along along this tutorial we just have to understand indentation we'll get two variables in the next video so So this is a basic if statement. Uh, we define two variables a, b and we use them inside the if block. So let's run this program. You can see now the output of the execution. First it printed a is greater than 1 here then it printed a is less than 1 to 56 then, is, then it printed it is a great day and then these four print statements. Now the reason behind that is now a is assigned to 123 so a is surely greater than 1. So what happens is when, when we hit a, a, an if statement so let's start with an if statement the same logic applies to for while the try catch block and everything else so the if statement takes a condition this condition evaluates to either true or false if it is true then this block gets executed if it is false and we need something then we need to have an else statement So you can skip the else statement if it is not required then nothing will happen so it will just execute the block if a is greater than 1. So we just have a else statement handy. So now this these lines belong to the if statement because all of them have 4 spaces here. Here. So all four of all of these four lines have four spaces and this is an if block which ends with a colon. So the moment the interpreter hits colon at the end of any line it is going to calculate the number of spaces it gets until the first non-space character and then it will calculate all the lines below that line which have the same number of spaces and those all lines belong to this struct. The same happens with else. Else is a keyword which ends with a colon. It calculates the number of spaces it gets before it gets a non-space character. So here it is print. So the first character it gets is non-space p. It has four spaces. So every line below this which has four spaces will belong to this else block. Now here incidentally we have only one line so it doesn't matter this this line is the only line which belongs to this else block. Now after this if and else statement we have four print statements since there, there is no colon at 
the statement before the print statement and there are no spaces then there is no issue of scoping and block uh, assignment of that statement to a block so this print this print basically belongs to your file and it gets executed so that is indentation now you might ask a question that this inner if block actually has eight spaces so the pro the interpreter doesn't look it look at it in that way it looks at it in two two ways first this if block has is indented by four spaces so this is four spaces now inside that we have an if block which also ends with a colon so for finding out all the lines which belong to this if block it is going to compute the number of spaces after the colon and after the i starts of that if so these four spaces are the ones that matter so when you have a nested if statement this block so basically these lines belong to the block b why because after the colon it computed the number of spaces starting from this i to the non first non space character and that it then went down until the end of file it doesn't actually have to go to the end of file it just has to go to the next line which doesn't have these many spaces so we got to print and this print has only four spaces so it just said that okay these lines belong to the block b and this line belongs to the block a and it is fine so let's just run it it hit control l if you want to clear the screen now you can see we clearly get the output printed now the thing over here is if you have uh, five spaces then this is a syntax error the reason is you need to have a colon and five spaces so if this itself was five spaces then it is fine but you can't have multiple spaces for the same block so this complete thing is an if block so you can't have four spaces for the first line and five spaces for the last line it should be uniform so having incorrect number of spaces inconsistent number of spaces is a syntax error so we understood how to use uh, indentation you don't have to understand again you don't have to understand everything about indentation just that just write this program out and you'll understand the if statement we'll get to scoping in a later video so thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next video